Hi friends, welcome back to Auto Pro EV. Jeep, the iconic American brand renowned for its off-road prowess, is gearing up for its highly anticipated upcoming release, the Jeep Recon. This electric powerhouse is slated for a 2025 debut in Europe and is poised to go head-to-head -head with the Land Rover Defender. But when we talk about rivaling, we're not exaggerating. Boasting an astonishing nearly 600 horsepower, the Recon isn't just an attractive addition to the electric vehicle landscape. It confidently promises an impressive range of around 600 kilometers, guaranteeing you the freedom to explore remote wilderness areas. The Recon is going to be the electric cousin you never knew the iconic Jeep Wrangler had. The Recon shares its underpinnings with the Jeep Wagoneer S, which is also slated for a 2025 debut. With the addition of the Recon and the Wagoneer S, along with the already unveiled compact Jeep Avenger, Jeep CV portfolio will start to take shape. A mysterious fourth EV is described by CEO Christian Meunier as a glimpse into Jeep's future. From the teaser images, it seems like this vehicle will be catering to the more budget-friendly audience. By 2030, Jeep, a proud member of the Stellantis family, plans to wave goodbye to gas guzzlers in Europe, embracing an all-electric lineup. Both the Recon and the top-tier Wagoneer S will debut on Stellantis's new STLA large architecture, these models will be among the first to adopt this new framework. Now, for those with a need for speed, the Recon and Wagoneer S don't disappoint. Both are slated to shoot from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a scorching 3.5 seconds, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour will add an extra 0.3 seconds. That's quicker than it took you to read this paragraph. For the purists yearning for that raw Jeep feel, the Recon echoes nostalgic notes of Jeeps of yesteryears, sporting options like removable doors and an open-top design, reminiscent of the Wrangler. Jeep's European boss, Antonella Bruno, shed light on the Recon's position in the lineup, stating it would sit alongside the Wrangler. However, both vehicles would maintain distinctive sizes and market positions. For those in Europe, Bruno described the Recon as a white space car, distinctive, boxy, and highly capable. This electric entrant will target a slightly different market segment than the Wrangler. Interestingly, while the Wrangler is available as a plug-in hybrid globally, UK fans won't find an electrified drivetrain option due to engineering challenges related to the right-hand drive. Bruno's vision is clear, Jeep aims to dominate as the 4x4 electrification leader. Jeep's goals in the UK and Europe aren't necessarily Land Rover-centric. Instead, they're eyeing brands like Volkswagen and apparently Mini as their main competitors. Despite recent performance hiccups in Europe and the UK, Bruno remains optimistic about Jeep's reputation. Emphasizing the brand's strong recognition, she believes the upcoming lineup, starting with the Avenger and Grand Cherokee, will significantly boost Jeep's presence in the region. Thank you for watching guys. Subscribe for more.